you know that big thing I was talking about? Well, we go and see AI. I think the mobile phones are sort of piggybacking on the industry. And obviously phones, it's, it's difficult to change phones. They all look the same, basically. Uh, so I think it's a little bit of a plateau right now. And maybe in the future we will have different types of devices. Maybe goggles, maybe a pin, maybe a watch that will do the same type of trick as the phone today. Who knows? Well, if, if you take Europe then, uh, what, 500 million people, just very rough, with 90 operators, or maybe even more. Take US, three operators, China, three operators. So clearly, there needs to be a consolidation in Europe. And uh, we're not seeing that happening. There's too many people. We, we know from history, the first operator, the one with the biggest market share, make some money. The second one at best breaks even. The rest are just losing money. interesting fact about artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is the demonstration of intelligence and creativity by computers. Set to Japanese. What are some good coffee shops nearby?
there is a hope, and Qualcomm, for example, are really working on this, that investment in on-device AI to really create strong, snappy user experiences will encourage consumers to replace their devices in order to be able to use these next generation apps that we hope will come through to access all these features. I think that's a big question mark. We certainly don't expect that to happen anytime soon. That's gonna be two, probably two years before we start to get there. But you have to invest now in order to enable that next generation of experiences. So whilst there's a lot of buzz here at MWC and it risks really inflating things and inflating the hype ahead of you know, where we are in reality, they do have to build it now in order to deliver those experiences into three years time. I think it is partnership and AI. In an increasingly fractured, complicated world, we need to work together, partnership, and we need to understand new technology, AI. 5G is here. We spoke, we've spoken a lot around 5G in previous. We don't need to do that anymore. 5D is here, we understand the capabilities and they will just improve over time with new releases. Uh, but the linkage to AI, I think is extraordinarily interesting.